Welcome to the Daily Muddy. I'm Ashley Conrad, and joining me today is my lovely Aunt Amy. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, fantastic. You are definitely my favorite guest, always. You're, you're you say, say that, that to everybody. Hey, you I don't say, say that, that to, to everybody. everybody. <laughs> Maybe I do, but this time I mean it. So um, a lot she of says you. that too. Well, no, I don't. It's kidding. A lot of people probably already know you. Um, for those of you who don't, you're missing out. She is by far... Uh, one of the best human beings I've ever come in contact with. And amen, I'm not going to get, amen. see, see, everybody <laughs> agrees with me. Um, she has her hands in so much, and it's all good stuff. And today, we're talking about one of those, right? So right. Uh, the Humane Society is perhaps the only thing that uh, rivals your family, right? Like, you think about these animals and that team as a family. It is. Yeah. So... But it's still not quite up there with my family, but it's yeah. awful close. Well, that's because we're, we're amazing. <laughs> There's no denying that. True. But, okay, but today we're here to talk about the Quincy Humane Society and something awesome that's coming up that I have the pleasure of attending, and I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. Yes. Um, it is the Fur Ball. Yes, it is the Fabulous Fur Ball. Fabulous It is one of our largest fundraisers. And this year, it is so exciting because we're going to have it down at the Armory for the very oh, first time. That's going to be awesome. I've been looking forward to checking that place out. Yeah. And for those that don't know, it's just been renovated, and very few events have been held there. So yeah. we are looking so very forward to doing it. It's going to be so, awesome. Absolutely. And I've been to this event before, and I'm so looking forward to going again because it's awesome. I mean, the lengths that you guys go to to make this not only you know awesome through the, the fundraising events, but... When you walk in the door, the moment you walk in the door, you're taken to like a different place. Uh, it's kind of a black tie formal event, it right? Is, it is. And you walk in, and this year it's Vegas themed. It is. Okay. Every, almost every year it's Vegas themed. Yes. Um, this year we uh, definitely have the um, the casino style. style. We're going to have the blackjack and the uh, roulette and all of that the crafts stuff. oh definitely the crafts, the crafts is where i you could find me at the last <laughs> one i went to it was so fun and, and so when you do when you have these table games like it is a, it, it is it, it feels like you're genuinely in vegas because you have the real legit tables mm -hmm. you have money that you're playing with correct but the money is actually kind of it's it goes towards helping the humane society it does. right you uh, will buy a ticket, and the tickets are $100 each. And for that $100, you will get a drink coupon, $750 of uh, play money. Ooh. And then, ooh, ooh. And then um, I, of course, won't need any more than that. I will win more. But. She is a winner. <laughs> she is a winning son of a gun, man, which, of course, we, you know, we yeah. all know she deserves it. Go ahead. Yes, thank you. And then two raffle tickets. And uh, they, we have a few raffle items, but uh, you will be able to see those as soon as you walk in the door. Okay. Um, and then uh, we will also have uh, food. Uh, they will, for the first year, we are going to have Plat Daddy. Yeah, I believe I'm real is. excited. It's a barbecue. Yeah. And I have n heard nothing but good things. I've not tried them yet, but I've heard nothing but good things. We haven't either. We actually got the opportunity to um, interview him uh last week or a couple weeks ago and his food sounds amazing i haven't had a chance to to taste it yet but that's on our to-do list but um he's a great guy he has his stuff together i'm that's i'm really excited i'm looking forward to that i am yeah. too um so as i said and then we're also going to have auctions um that auction will help um, raise more money for mm -hmm. the humane society and like i said this is our biggest fundraiser of the year uh, very important so that we can continue the low um, spay neuter costs and, mm -hmm. the, and the vaccinations as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and finding those families, you know, well, families, the animals and the animals, the families, vice versa. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys, d you, your mission out there is amazing. And the way that you uh, carry it out is even more so because if you're not talking about your family, you're talking about these pets and how to connect them with their forever homes, and I love that. So Well, I, I uh, totally believe that it is uh, the pet that picks the person. Yes. And uh, if anybody has ever had the 
a wonderful uh, chance to do that, then they realize that that is uh, the, the happening there. Yeah. We also are a no-kill shelter, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, we are not state-funded at all. Really? So, no. I didn't know that. Not at all. So privately it's funded? Privately funded. Okay. Through, through all these fundraisers and whatnot. And Excellent. So, uh, this and uh, the mutt strut, um, these are it. Yeah. <laughs> And it does take an army. So, like I said, the events that you put on uh, are just awesome. I mean, the the lengths you go to to create uh, just, I don't know, the when you walk in the door, the Vegas theme, it is so genuine. It's so legit. It's awesome. Uh, and then to have, and let's not forget you have drinks and, of course, food. True, and, true. Yeah, so and that always makes it even more fun, especially when you're playing the, the, the casino games. Right, but. and, and uh, the Tappies are providing the music. Also. Oh, cool, and okay. We'll dancing. And dancing. We're and, definitely going to be dancing. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah. Uh, and I don't want people to think that if you cannot afford a cocktail dress, uh, which I'm not even sure in Tempe where we get to, would get one of those right. anymore. Right, right. But um, if you cannot afford to get all of that, please – Come dressed up nicely and, sure. and come on down because we would love to have you. Yeah, you're not going to uh, turn people away for wearing, no, a, you know, no. less than black tie. Absolutely okay. not. So. But it is a fun part of it. it I mean, is. if you can afford it, if you do if you do like that sort of thing, yeah, use this as a reason to get dressed up, go out and have a great time with your friends and family, and I think that's awesome. Now, you mentioned auctions. Live, silent, live, both, live. live. That's yes, fun. Yes. Yeah, that's and, fun. And uh, we have many, many different um, – which, if you'll look on our website, they'll kind of be run, running down what we're going to have. Okay. And um, as you come to the event, you're going to see up on a live screen constantly running what we're going to have um, even before the event starts. Perfect. So, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to get to the event specifics here real quick. But before that, let's mention uh, one of the most important parts of this, the, the aspect, is the sponsorship. Oh, yes. Right? Because Absolutely. you wouldn't be able to carry any of this out without some really caring people who donate the big bucks Correct. to help carry this event out, Correct. right? And we have wonderful sponsors. Uh, we have different level of sponsors. Uh, the largest sponsors that we have are called the Jackpot Sponsors, and that is J.W. Gardner Foundation, KHQA, and Quincy Recycle. The next uh, down is Quincy Roller or High Roller Sponsors, and that's Nap High Manufacturing, who has always been a huge yeah, phenomenal. Quincy sponsor mm -hmm. table 16 production custom built contractors which you hold dearly i do i do yes quincy humane society endowment star radio three branches boutique and spa westerhoff dogs celebrations party event and rental and zeke and katie i can never can say their name cernia, cernia? yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the royal flush sponsors which are bank of quincy stevenson paxton wealth management group of wells fargo advisors and the Abbey. And that is not to say that we have many, many different sponsors that have also put in sure. just smaller amounts just because they believe in our cause. And, yeah. and we can't do any of it without all of you. Right. And so that's that's a you. very good point. Yes. Yeah. It takes it takes an army to pull uh, not only this off, but of course your mission at the at the Humane Society. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely honorable mention to say, you know, any any little bit, every little bit helps. Um, so, yeah, thank you to all of those folks. Uh, and now let's get to the important stuff. So uh, the, what is it, fa Fabulous Furball? The Fabulous the Furball. The Fabulous Furball yes, is yes. held April 15th. April 15th. Okay. And it's at 6 p.m. Okay. And uh, you can start showing up a little bit earlier because you're going to need to check in. You'll get your packet that shows all the auction items, your tickets for your drink and uh, um, your money. Okay. And then um, you can kind of scope out the uh, event and whatnot, where yeah. you want to sit and all that. Um, and then, Next to the dance floor. Right, right. Yeah. And then um, and it's at the Armory Event Center. Now, there are multiple doors that you can see for the Armory, but the actual place that you're going to go in at is 416 Jersey. Okay. Good, so, to, good to know. Good um, to know. Okay. So tickets are on sale now. Uh, go to our website, call in the shelter, which is 217-223-8786. Again, as I said, $100 per ticket. Now, if you want to get a table of 10, 
Yeah. Not, that's nine hundred dollars. We'll even drop a hundred dollars. There so, you go. Yeah. Take a hundred dollars off. That way you are ensuring you get to sit with your friends and your family and yeah, just have a hell or of a if night. You want to pick somebody else? Hey, what the heck? There Let's you go. <laughs> right? Yeah. Be like, ah, ah I, I like think I'm going to sit over here. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, I can't wait. Are we? Did we? Did, you, did we get to mention everything? I know I that you kind of. So. I don't want to say she drew the short straw because any day to talk to me is a good day, right? But I believe that. Pilar was supposed to come and something yes. came up, so you kind of you got nominated, which I'm so so happy. So. I did, and and this is not my forte, and but You're amazing. I enjoyed talking to you. Yeah. And I would be remiss in not saying what a wonderful group that we have that actually puts this on. Absolutely. Uh, they work hard. They work throughout the year trying to get this to be the best for ball each year and uh they have done a fabulous job yeah so yeah it shows so it shows and so yeah if you uh if you don't have plans to go make plans um it's not only an awesome night it's it's a great event and for a fantastic cause and you have wonderful people working towards that cause so thanks for chatting with me absolutely okay love you i love you too okay right. coming up we'll take a field trip a couple blocks over to uh to take a sneak peek at an indoor mountain bike park what if there was one thing that can improve your mood productivity and well overall health there is it's called a good night's sleep harvey's furniture offers industry-leading beds from bemco chatham and wells as well as spring air harvey's furniture our home your home welcome to the abbey a quincy tradition with six big screens a new larger kitchen and now more seating capacity the abbey is the place to be before during and after the big game come enjoy fan favorite abbey tizers steaks burgers and a variety of daily food and drink specials can't join us carry out is available too now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you 1736 spring in quincy opens at 3 p.m tuesday through sunday come join all your friends at the abbey a quincy tradition I've had two stepdaughters go through the Quincy Public School System, and it's a great system. And I love what they accomplished and what they're accomplishing now. But I have found flaws, and I believe that those could be fixed at the local level. And I don't believe that the people that are heading this state really understand what's best for our children in this city. I believe that serving on the Quincy Public School Board is one of the most important jobs a person can have. Over the last few years, I've seen some things that I felt like we needed some new perspectives on. Um, I also feel like over the last few years, we've had some situations uh, with COVID, for example, where it became apparent that we really need people who are going to stand up for the Constitution and for freedom to be in positions, these locally elected positions. I'm Tori Kaufman, and I would appreciate your vote for Quincy School Board. I'm Ashley Randolph, and I would appreciate your vote for the Quincy School Board. I'm Jeremy Allen, and I'd appreciate your vote for Quincy School Board. Quincy Warehouse Bargains is your Quincy home improvement store. It's the only store of its kind in the Quincy area. We offer flooring, mattresses, area rugs, dining sets, couches, appliances, and much more. And have more products to come so we can better serve the Quincy and Tri-State community. Our staff is ready to help you find what you need to make your house a home. Quincy Warehouse Bargains, 4100 North 24th Street, Quincy. Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. All right, and now after a uh, first-hand tour of this massive building, we're standing in front of what Darren likes to call 
uh, eye candy. This is the eye candy spot, right? Yep. All right, now I'm standing here with Darren Thomas. I didn't introduce him yet, but he is the man. He is the uh, mountain bike park man. And I don't use that lightly. When you walk into this building, especially, well, at least I did, I was overcome with, holy cow, this is a lot of space, a ton of potential, a blank slate. But hearing you talk about your vision and how things are coming together is amazing to me. Thanks. So you explained it really well. I'm gonna ask you to kind of repeat some of that. Let's start with uh, the vision, where it came from. And hey, before we get started, people may recognize Darren. He's not a big self-promoter, but he is a uh, well-known blessing physician. So we'll go ahead and throw that out there. I'm sorry if that like made you uncomfortable at all, but no, I'm sorry. for this purpose, he is the bike guy. And uh, yeah, so can you just run us through uh, a quick overview of where did this inspiration come from? What was the vision? What's the mission? And you can start with FAST because I think that's just a really cool it's just a really cool acronym and it kind of just sums up all this. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, it kind of started 13 years ago when my wife and I was, uh, um, we were going through medical school. And so <clears throat> medical school, as you can imagine, is pretty dang hard. I can't imagine. Yeah. No, that's why I didn't yeah. do it. No, yeah. yeah. Anyways, but my wife actually, she came up to me and she, she's like, you, you're, you're too self-focused, which you kind of have to be in med school, right? And she says, we need to go help someone out. So she gets a lot of the credit for the creation of this foundation. And your wife's name, real quick, let's go ahead and Shannon, shout her out. Shannon Thomas. Shannon, okay. Yeah. And uh, so we wanted to do something unique. We wanted to kind of combine some of our passions. And so we came up with forming this charity. And at the time, what we were doing was we were putting together triathlons. So we actually put together triathlons where you would run the race, but in the middle of the race, you had to stop and do a community service project. You had to build. Oh, wow you know, brown paper lunch sacks for the homeless or put together gift bags for the kids in the pediatric ERs. And so that was the concept. We took healthy activity like a triathlon and we combined it with service. And so that's where the FAST came from, promoting health and service together. So that was the initial inspiration. It was, we needed to do something because we needed to maintain that level of sanity. And you got to, we're all busy, life is crazy. And we just realized that no matter how busy you are, you need to be thinking of others right. for your health. Absolutely. Not to mention just your physical health, right? Right. And so we did that for 10 years. And then we came out here, started the medical training at Blessing Hospital. And very quickly, uh, we learned that winters out here are, are kind of tough. And I've got four daughters. And so that resulted in swings in my living room, <laughs> hanging awesome. from the rafters, or, you know, hide and go seek in the bathrooms. You get creative. And it was very early on that we, I realized and I started looking for things. What could we do? What, what could this town, you know, benefit from? Sure. And at that same time is when Sears started going out and J.C. Penney and they and these big, massive square footage buildings. And I was like, we've got to figure out a way to do it. And at that same time, I came across this video of this guy in Cleveland, Ohio, and he had successfully turned an old train station into an indoor mountain bike park in Cleveland, Ohio. Right. And uh, I was like, that's it. That's it. Biking's basically universal. Like there's high skill people, but there's also people like want to hop on a bike and go for a stroll, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. And so it kind of hit all the dockets. So I started just looking around. It became kind of my hobby to look at any building that was for lease or was for sale or just was big. And I started poking through windows. I started asking owners. And then I came across this one and it was recently relisted and contacted the real estate agent. And I told him, I said, hey, can I come check it out? And he said, yeah, absolutely. And I said, can I bring my mountain bike? And he said, what? <laughs> and uh, so I said, yes, just trust me. I need to ride through it. And I've got an idea. So I did just that. I came in and I ran through it and I brought my wife here and I painted my, the picture of the vision for this place. She fell in love with it. But um, really what made this so amazing and doable and why this will be successful long term is because I was able to approach um, a handful of uh, very, very kind-hearted uh, angel investors, people that believed in the community and that believed that our kids were our future, obviously, and they needed things to do that right. had to do with goodness, health, and service. And within less than 24 hours, I had a full cash offer to purchase the building. And so the building is here for the use of this charity to build this thing. And so that's why it's possible. Yeah, that's and, amazing. Yeah. And you said big, so let's just go ahead and say, how big is this building? Yeah, so this room right here, this took us three weeks to build, and this was only about 2,500 square foot. The entire building is 54,000 square feet. 
It's and massive. It's it's a big big building. So when you were dry, you were kind of touring us around. It's it's easy to kind of lose where you where you are at any given point, but the the ideas that you have for each room, it's just amazing. I can't wait to see it all it's gonna come be together. It's going to be so fun. It's going to be so neat. It really is. Yeah. I just geek out every time I think about it because it is going to be a blast. I don't care if anybody else shows up. I'm going to be hanging out here and I'll be riding yeah. by myself. When I showed up, he was in here taking advantage of this beauty over here, yeah. just cruising around. And you know, it's, I have no doubt that other people are going to enjoy this. So the service part, yes, that is the big, that is the overarching, but giving people something to do in Quincy is huge. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, giving something for people to do is big, especially if you're doing it in a way that makes it possible for everyone. Yeah. So you touched on something uh, earlier that touched my heart for sure, because not everybody has resources available to get to enjoy something this awesome. So can you give us a little background about what you're thinking there? Yeah, so in kind of true form, as we came to Quincy, we kind of steered away from the triathlon world and we started kind of you know, focusing in on this idea. We wanted to stay true to our, our promoting health and service uh, together. And so what we wanted to do is we wanted to make this accessible for any age or individual. And one of the ways we're doing that, because it's gonna cost money to come here. Right. You're gonna have to pay a ticket for admissions. You're probably may or may not have to rent a bike or helmet or gear. And that might be a limiting factor for some people. So we came up with these kindness cards where people can actually do service projects and kind acts in the community and an access credit. So we have this mantra here that kindness is currency yeah. and so people can actually do kind acts and they can come and I will let you ride for free all the time if How you're about that? if you have this I just envision like this army of little kids out just you know breaking grandma's yard or, or going down to the, the clubs and doing community service and so if we can use this and parlay that to help kids be involved in the community a little more uh, yeah. I think that's a pretty good that's idea awesome that and is, so that they is can come in and so those kids that wouldn't normally be able to pay for it. They can come in, they can ride. I'll rent them a bike. And uh, so that's phenomenal. Very I'm pretty cool. excited about that. Yeah, that is that is perhaps the most amazing part, uh, aside from the construction, of course, because this is just, it's a thing of beauty. And I'm not even a biker, so I don't, I'm, I'm sure I'm not, uh, you know, appreciating this enough, but I will say it's beautiful. Yeah. So, okay, this room here, of course, you know, you kind of tied it all together, but can you run down just a few of the different rooms that you have? Because I know we're gonna get some footage of all of it, but just to be able to understand what, what you're looking at. So you talked about uh, the pump track, the, so of course mountain bikes, but you also have spots for BMX, you have yeah. repair shop, you have a lounge. I mean, you have, it's just amazing. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Yeah, that, so yeah, so people will come in, there'll be a lounge, there'll be chairs, TVs, places for the parents to hang out. Hopefully we want video footage of everywhere so kids, they can watch their kids do things. Um, then they'll well, be- Like on TVs and stuff? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Without having to get up? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Perfect. You just hang out. And then we'll have you know check-ins, there'll be a completely in-house repair shop. Um, there'll be a bike rental store here so people can come here. We'll have bike storage so people don't have to load their bike in, bring it down every time they ride. They can just bring it here we'll, yeah. and, and we'll have a storage spot for them. We'll have an entire room that's going to be more kind of like street themed, very similar to, you know, what you see like BMX, tabletops and half pipes and stuff like that. We'll have an entire floor dedicated to that. Yeah. We'll have an entire floor dedicated more traditional mountain bike skills. We have rock gardens and things that are like what we call single tracks and elevated, you know, rollers and berms and kind of tricky things. You know, entire oak trees cut in half and, and teeter totters they call and ladders and yeah. and whoopsie doobies. Anyways, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. so all sorts yeah. of things. So below us, two floors is going to be the my favorite room is going to be the pump track room. So it's it's almost ten to it's almost twelve thousand square foot and it'll just be entirely pump tracks, just curving and twisting and curling. And uh, so it'll all be in one direction, so there's no cross traffic, and you can just ride and ride and ride until you can't, you can't stand anymore. Yeah, that's so it's cool. gonna be pretty fun. And all of these uh, different features of, uh, of this park are gonna be interconnected, so you can ride in, ride out, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, so there's an entire lap, we call it the green track. So from the check-in desk, there'll be a, a, a lap that will run entirely on the perimeter of every room in all the entire building. It'll be a, th a third of a mile. So an individual, if they just want to come and do some miles, I guess in theory, they could just go do laps, three laps and they got a mile. Yeah. Uh, but the cool thing is people can come in and just ride through rooms and see what's there. And, and as they want to go in, yeah, I'll ride that and then pop out. Or 
keep riding and just kind of flow and it's just a just a continual motion of just fun awesome. and activity. Yeah, yeah, very cool. So there is one thing that makes all, of, well, we'll say more than one thing. So of course it takes a community, uh, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of uh, passion to make this possible, but none of that is uh, brought to fruition without some funding, right? Yeah. So this is heavily reliant on donations, donation mm -hmm. through time, money, right? Yep. So he's not going to ask for it. I'm going to ask for it. If you, uh, you know, if you see the, the purpose, the greatness in this, I would say get a hold of Darren because uh, there's a lot to do, but the vision is there and I cannot wait to see this, this come alive. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And I don't know, it's Fast Tracks. I don't think I even mentioned that, but yeah. what a cool name. Yeah. What a cool acronym. The whole, the whole, uh, just the mission, the vision is just is really awesome, and I geek out on it. And I'm not even where you are, so yeah. I can't even imagine uh, how cool this is to see it come together. But I appreciate you talking with me. I you're know I reached welcome. out, and you're probably like, "Oh, great, yeah." No, Evans, but, no, anytime. Yeah. Anytime. Well, anytime. I love I love listening to it, and I'm sure you love talking about it. But I appreciate Monday. you chatting with me, and I can't wait to see how this goes. So yeah. good luck with Thank everything. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. On that note, I think that does it for us today. Stay tuned tomorrow for more daily money. <laughs>